Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Artus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use CJ Drop Shipping on Shopify. So this is going to be a beginner's tutorial. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So first thing that we need to do here is we need to go to Shopify.com, log into our account, and in this case, we need to first have our store set up. Now in this case, once you have your store set up, we're now ready to install or use Dro CJ Dropshipping into Shopify. So what we need to do first is we need to install the official CJ Dropshipping application on our Shopify store. Now to do that, we need to go to our settings at the bottom left here. Go ahead and click on it. And from here, you need to go to the options or settings that says apps and sales channel. Now from here, choose the option here that says Shopify app store at the top right. And from here, what we need to do is we need to basically search for CJ drop shipping. Now, in this case, usually you should be able to see the CJ drop shipping much faster here. But if not, you just need to type in CJ drop shipping and you should be able to see the application for it. Now, in this case, just choose the CJ drop shipping option or application here. Click on install and it should open up a new tab, which in this case is going to ask you if you really want to install CJ drop shipping. Now, in this case, you need to click on install here. And from here, you should be able to see this option or next page here. Now, in this case, it's going to ask you to authorize the following emails here. So in this case, an email match CJ account has been found. So you need to confirm this account. Now, in this case, if you don't have a account yet for CJ drop shipping, you need to create yours. So in this case, just click on the register here at the bottom right. But in this case, since I already have my CJ account here, I just need to click on the authorize button. Now, from here, it's going to say when you click and click confirm, you agree to the store authorization agreement. Now, in this case, let's just click on confirm and from here we should be able to start authorizing our account now from here what we need to do next is just wait for it to load up property but if you see this ui here just go ahead and just log in again and from here choose your account here so or, or enter your password here so depending on what, how you actually set up or you've set up your account so in this case i actually use my google account to uh, basically create my cj drop shipping account now in this case this is our current page for cj drop shipping now, what we need to do here is we need to authorize our shop. So to do that, we need to go to the top left here, click on the authorization at the top left, and from here, choose the Shopify option. Now, once you click on it, you should be able to see this section here. And what we need to do is we need to add a store. Now, to do that, just click on the Add Store button here. And from here, it's going to give you these steps for you to basically add the store. Now, from here, it's going to say by clicking Authorize, you will direct, uh, you will be directed to the app page in Shopify where you need to uh, click Add App. Now, from here, you need to log into your Shopify account, select the one store to authorize. Having entered the app page, you need to click Install App. And from here, you will see a pop-up showing authorization succeeded of things if things go actually smooth. Now, in this case, just click on the Authorize button at the top above right here in this case uh, if you haven't installed it it's going to ask you to install again and redo the whole process here in this case we just need to uh, follow the steps that we'll be seeing here so again it's going to ask you to authorize your shop so in this case just click on authorize click on confirm and from here it should actually be completed and from here you should see the authorization success as you can see we have now authorized our Shopify account into CJ drop shipping now in this case, how do we actually start using CJ Drop Shipping into our Shopify account? Well, this one is actually pretty easy. So right now, this is going to be the official site, which is cjdropshipping.com. And in their page, we need to choose our product. So there's going to be uh, multiple products that you could choose from. But for example, maybe we want to use this product here. Now to view the details of this product, just go ahead and click on that product and you should be able to see their details. Now in this case, as you can see, there's going to be the color the title for it and some information about it. But the uh, uh, section here at the bottom of that specific product, you have the connect, list, buy now, customize, add to queue, 
add SKU to list or photo request. Now in this case, there's going to be a, a important buttons here that you could actually use. So we'll be discussing connect, list, and photo request. Now photo request is a way for you to basically inspect your product. Now in this case, it's go you'll be requesting like a photo or a video of the product itself directly from the seller. So just to verify that the product or the listing is actually legit, you should be able to request a photo for it and see the actual product since you won't be able to see the actual product real time. Now in this case, you have the connect option here, which in this case, you will connect this product here to an already existing product on your Shopify store. Now from here, we also have the option that says list. Now in this case, you'll be able to add this product to your store, which is something really, really handy because all the process itself is going to be automatic. Now in this case, maybe this product is fairly new and you haven't added this to your store yet. So just click on the option here that says list. So when you click on it, it's going to ask you some information on it. Now everything that has the red asterisk on it, it means that this is going to be the important information and should it not be blank. Now in this case, what we need to do is we need to choose the product type here. So if you want to uh, basically click on add new here, so this is going to be a new product. So in this case, maybe I want to say it's going for uh, sleep, click on confirm. And from here, we also have the collection here if you have an already existing. So as you can see, we, I only have one collection here, which is homepage. But if you want to add a new one, just click on add new. Now from here, we also have the vendor here, which in this case is going to be HP, which is going to be automatic. But if you want to sync this, just click on sync to get the latest option. Now from here, we also have the option here to add our pricing. So in this case, maybe the original price here, the total drop shipping cost is going to be 8.14. So in this case, I would recommend you to make sure to check each product here. Now in this case, like for example, 814 is going to be the ship uh, total ship uh, drop shipping costs here so in this case uh, i would recommend you to add your prices here like for example it's going to be 8.14 so maybe i want to add this as 10 uh aud but it's going to be going over as usd here so in this case maybe i want to increase this one so make sure that i'm in my correct price range so maybe it's going to be 16. Now again, you need to do this for all the products that you see here, but for conveniences and for now, you also have the option here to bulk edit or bulk add specific details into your product. So maybe I want to say this is going to be $30 here and click on OK. As you can see, the price has been updated to that specific pricing. Now in this case, you could go ahead and just click on whatever here and change a few things. Like for example, this, since this actually costs more, you could go ahead and update this pricing in here. But in this case, I want it uh, in this pricing here and I don't want to change things here. Let's go ahead and click on the list it now button. But if you want to edit your product first before posting it to, into your Shopify store, go ahead, go ahead and click on edit before listing here. And you should be able to edit this listing here. Like for example, change title, add tags if you want it in here. But you also have the product option here if you want to add it new and collection and HP. Now in this case, go ahead and uh, apply all the changes that you want. So maybe I want to say this, go, I'm going to add a new product type here. Say sleep, click on confirm and click on list it now. Now in this case, and once you click on the list it now, you should be able to see the listing in progress. So in this case, you could go ahead and find more products, but you could also go to the on listing page or in the listed option here to basically view the current progress. Now in this case, it's going to be the listed option here. As you can see, it's currently impending, but this once this is actually completed, you should be able to see your product in your Shopify page. Now in this case, since this actually contains a different or a lot of information, this might take a while. So in this case, let's just wait for it to properly be listed. And as you can see right now, when we actually check our Shopify store, as you can see, our product has now been listed. Now in this case, you could go ahead and edit whatever information that you want here. But in this case, this is now ready to be used in your shop. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.